Welcome back to the Football Five, or welcome if you haven't been here before. I am Kira Lachlan, and today we are talking about week three. Uh, super exciting stuff going on. If you're not a big fan of football, you may be thinking, oh my god, how is it only week three? This is all the all the crap I hear about is football, football, football. But relax, we only have 14 games to go. This isn't the NHL or basketball. It's not an 82-game season or an 162-game MLB season. We only have 14 games left. So strap in and enjoy it while you can. Three biggest topics, in my opinion, heading into this weekend. Number three, uh, Marshawn Lynch and the Oakland Raiders. They are something to watch. They are 2-0 right now. And Marshawn Lynch came out of retirement to play with the Raiders this year for a couple of reasons. Um, He's from Oakland. He always wanted to play for Oakland. He's born and raised there. He's a very passionate, loyal hometown boy. Also, in the offseason, the Raiders were granted permission by the NFL to move their franchise to Las Vegas. And they only have two years left in Oakland. They've had a really, really hard um, last 14 years or so. Last season, they did well. But previous to that, they had a rough, rough road. Uh, And their fans have been so loyal, so passionate, so vocal, and just incredibly supportive. And now they have these all-star players playing for them, and they're crushing teams. Fun little YouTube uh, watch if you want. Marshawn Lynch last weekend, if you haven't already caught it, dancing on the sidelines while his team was crushing the New York Jets. Uh, This guy is entertainment. If you think football is boring, Marshawn Lynch is not boring. Uh, Number two, something that I think is super exciting. Sorry about that camera malfunction. Um, Coaches in the NFL calling out their all-star players. It happened a couple of times this past week. Jason Garrett, who's the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, said that Ezekiel Elliott, who's an all-star running back, displayed a lack of effort uh, that doesn't coincide with the team's um, style of play particularly through two interception plays while the team was playing the Broncos last weekend. He said they were going to have to have a meeting about it. Well, they did have a meeting, and I mean, I'm mean, i assuming that Elliot got his hand slapped a little bit. Both Garrett and Elliot spoke to the media today and said that the problem is solved. Uh, I'm a fan of coaches calling out players in the media. Step up. You're getting paid a lot of money. There's a lot of guys behind you who uh, you took the job from, so earn it. Earn it every week. Same kind of thing happened in uh, New York. Uh, the Giants head coach, Ben McAdoo, I think is his name, McAdoo. I hope I'm saying that right. He's uh, just a second-year NFL head coach, but he threw his quarterback under the bus. And, you know, some people would say rightly so. Eli Manning is a Super Bowl-winning quarterback. He's declined over the last couple years, but he's still a quarterback at a very high level um, that is really, really not playing well. The Giants are 0-2, and he essentially called their last loss all Eli's fault. So um, sometimes the biggest drama that happens in football is after the game in the post-game press conferences. So maybe you don't like watching football, but keep an eye out for those post-game press conferences because sometimes they are media gold. Um, Number one is maybe a guy that you haven't heard of yet. Uh, You've certainly heard of his team, though. My number one pick of someone to watch this weekend and frankly for the rest of the season is Trevor Simeon. Trevor Simeon is the quarterback, starting quarterback for the Denver Broncos. He is just 25 years old and he is in, he's doing incredibly well this season. Uh, the guy was drafted, I think, 250th. Not someone who's typically going to be a starter in the NFL, certainly not at, at this young of an age, but he's crushing it. He and uh, Matt Stafford, They are tied. They lead the NFL with six touchdowns in just two games. Um, And he has also averaged uh, Simeon 33 points in each of those two games, which is just phenomenal. Uh, Fun fact, my fiancé likes to call Trevor Simeon Trevor Cinnamon. Uh, which I think is ridiculous, but also really catchy. And I don't know how to spell Simeon. Every time I look his name up, I'm like, oh, that's how you spell it? Cinnamon is easier. Um, So jumping right in from uh, the football sort of stories to watch into football facts, speaking of uh, Ezekiel Elliott not playing well this past week, two of the plays that he didn't play well in were interceptions. What is an interception? An interception is when your quarterback is on the field uh, and he, or your offense is on the field, I should say, and the ball ends up in the defense's hands. This is obviously no bueno for a couple of reasons. A, you've lost your opportunity to gain points on that play, and B, you've passed the ball over to the other team maybe in a spot that's really advantageous for them. So moving on to football fact two or or one, um, when a defense gains a ball in an interception, they the off their offense then comes on the field. And their offense comes on the field in the exact spot where the ball was caught or where the play ended. So if they have someone who catches the ball, the defense intercepts the ball and then runs up the field 
gaining however many yards, the offense is going to come on the field in probably a wonderful position to score points. So again, no bueno. You do not want your team to intercept the ball. If they do intercept it and score a touchdown, that is called a pick six. So you learn two things today. What an interception is and what a pick six is. See, it's not that hard. It's really simple. Don't let the aggressive dude at the bar who maybe played two games in Canadian college let you think that you can't love and enjoy this game because you can. Stay tuned because on Saturday, uh, speaking of enjoyment, I am going to do a little special episode featuring my five top recommended football movies. Um, Again, if you don't like watching on the field, maybe you'll like watching something in a film. Uh, some uh, Some of these movies are just They're absolutely amazing. Some people would argue that they're not football movies at all. Uh, My name again is Kira O'Loughlin. I'm so, so, so thankful that you're here watching. This is going to get better and more fun every week. Stay with me. I'm so happy you're here. Bye.